guys, we are finally here. We are finally here talking about Umbrella's 4K UHD presentation of 1993's Super Mario Bros. the movie. Now this does come at us with a new 4K restoration, sourced from the original 35mm negative and an SDR grading, and a theatrical ratio of 185 to 1. Y yeah, you heard me right. No HDR and no Dolby Vision on this. Why? Why not? Well, according to Umbrella, for whatever reason, the rights holder did not provide Umbrella with a version graded for high dynamic range, HDR. And the reason, well, will probably remain a mystery. We don't know. They never gave an actual reason why. And you know what? This seems to be an ongoing trend with Umbrella. For whatever reason, they, they just can't get their hands on uh, versions, 4K versions graded for HDR or Dolby Vision. They did it with uh, the Weird Al story. They've done it with other 4K presentations where they don't have the HDR, they have SDR instead. So all we can hope is a studio like Shout Factory to find a version that's greater for HDR and fix this. I hope they do. I hope Shout Factory releases this. This seems like a movie right up their alley. So let's just be patient and wait but I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. Now, originally I was going to do a 4K versus DVD comparison because the DVD is all we had here in the States. That was until a friend of mine and a friend of the show, Tiberius uh, from Norway, offered to send us his Blu-ray copy from Second Sight, which is right here. So this is gonna be a huge shout out to Tiberius over in Norway, because without you, brother, this video would not exist. All right, so let's get into it. Let's dive into the world of Koopaville and take a closer look at this 4K UHD from Umbrella against Second Sight's 2014 Blu-ray. Super Mario Bros. in 4K UHD is quite honestly the absolute best the film has ever looked. I've never seen it look this good on any home media release. And when comparing the Second Sight Blu-ray to this 4K, it's very easy to see why, because this 4K carries some really nice, notable upticks and improvements where the Blu-ray pales in comparison. First off, let's start with the color reproduction. It is outstanding here, and even without the use of HDR applied. Colors are bright and bold with some very nice vibrancy and pop, and also more life to it. We have bolder reds, energetic yellows, cooler deeper blues and deeper greens, and secondary colors such as purples and pinks, uh, neon tones, and earthy tones are also likewise just as impressive. Uh, explosions that happens throughout the film also carries deeper orange yellow fire flames uh, with excellent detail within the flames and also the fireballs. The entire color palette on this 4K is just rich and springs to life and really oozes, pops off the screen. Skin tones are also looking warmer and healthier here on the 4K, while on the Blu-ray, skin tones leaned a little on the palish side, and the contrast looks great here on the 4K, and also helps with dimly and dark scenes. Saturation levels really helps to bring more punch uh, to the image with plenty of deeply saturated tones. I did notice, however, there was a slight tint of digital manipulation with the saturated colors. Thankfully though it's only on one occasion and not throughout the film. It's very brief as well. Also while the color grading is a nice improvement over the Blu-ray, I did notice some areas where there's some inconsistent color shifting in the grading. For example there are a couple of scenes that have a slight blue tint over the image and then the very next shot or the very next scene it's gone. Uh, same with a slight teal hue in some areas. Now I did notice the same problem also exists on the Second Sight Blu-ray and I did check out the DVD and it happens there as well. So this is obviously just a problem that exists in the original source material and is not from a bad transfer. Now let's talk a little bit about the black levels. Uh, on the Second Sight Blu-ray I didn't notice in many problems with the black levels, if any at all. The black levels and shadows look pretty decent and good on the Blu-ray. However, when comparing this Blu-ray to the 4K, that's when I noticed 
the 4K grading does really up the ante here uh, by enhancing the black levels, looking much better resolved and deeper, stronger, uh, inky true black levels that we love to see. And also some really nice uh, rich shadow detail, especially within the darker, murkier corners of Coopaville. And while I wouldn't say this is a major 90 day difference or a major vast improvement, Still, the deeper black levels and shadows do help with drawing out some extra information and more depth within the image than what we have on the Blu-ray. So the black levels on 4K is definitely still an advantage. Now, one concern that I did have with this 4K was all the dated visuals and especially the use of very early 90 CG work. And I will say some of the effect sequences do suffer from a dip in contrast and clarity, which honestly isn't really too surprising for a film of this era and also the low budget constraints the film had. Outside of that, the overall image quality is very impressive here. The higher 2160p resolution gives more finer lines in the image that gives way to excellent clarity and the image looks as razor sharp as it can be. And I didn't notice any kind of artificial sharpening or AI tools or smoothing done in the image. We have a strong, crisp, clear image and I didn't notice that halo effect on the edges, which was a problem on the second sight Blu-ray and definitely on the DVD. All the finer details look fantastic and highly detailed, including the excellent makeup effects work uh, and also wide shots with background activity staying consistently sharp, showcasing the insane production design and cinematography to the max. Now, as for the very early CG work, uh, it definitely does not look good. Uh, there's definitely a good amount of distortion within the CG work, which again, isn't very surprising since the CGI work wasn't rendered in HD resolution. Uh, so the issues is not from bad transfer, but is all inherited from the original source material. However, all in all, I do think this also gives the film some charm in a way. Now the bit rate uh, was a little disappointing. It ranges from the low 60s and I saw it top out in the high 70s. And film grain has been preserved here. Uh, likewise, as with the Second Sight Blu-ray, we have a very nice fine level of 35 millimeter grain field that looks natural and filmic. Guys, Super Mario Brothers on 4K is a good example that even in SDR, there are big improvements to be had, especially within the expanded color range and image detail. All right, now let's get into the audio presentation of Super Mario Brothers on 4K, and it comes with a DTS 5.1 lossless surround track and its original theatrical stereo track. Now the 5.1 track obviously rules over the stereo track. It sounds very robust and dynamic with a lot of fidelity. Surround channels have movement and placement uh, from the rears to the fronts is very active with some nice, again, object placement and movement. Action sequences sound big and robust and booming with bass. Alan Silvestri's score is spectacular with some nice range and fidelity. And dialogue is rendered crisp and clean. All right guys, so my score for Umbrella's 4K UHD release of Super Mario Brothers, I'm giving the video a 4.5 out of a five. Uh, as for the audio, I'm giving this a five out of five. It sounds fantastic. All right guys, well head over to the comment section, let me know because I'm curious what your thoughts on this one. When you look at the differences here between Second Sight's Blu-ray release and Umbrella's new 4K UHD release, which do you think looks better? Head over to the comment section and let me know. All right guys, well thanks so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes here as we talk about Super Mario Brothers on 4K UHD from Umbrella. And yeah, if Shout Factory is gonna release this on 4K, which I really hope they do in HDR and Dolby Vision, I really hope they do, but all we can do right now is just lobby for it. So uh, tag Shout Factory in your social media accounts and, and demand that this gets a new 4K release here with HDR 10 and Dolby Vision, because I guarantee you, that is gonna make a huge impact on this 4K. Well, all right guys, keep physical media alive and stay tuned for another 4K versus Blu-ray comparison.